Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragonvale World and the great hatching! It is time my friends, it is time to hatch open the beautiful Elysium Dragon. I think that's what it was called at least. He is gone from the limited time selection now. But we have his egg and what a beautiful golden cloudy egg it is. I am so excited about this. Uh, and we are going to be adding him over to... Dun 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 dun! The orb! Virgin Habitat, which is right back here with our beautiful infrared dragon, Calcifer, who is actually fully evolved, though I do want to level him up the rest of the way. And it looks like we can add one more dragon in here, which means our Elysium dragon will be able to be added uh, before we need to upgrade it. Oh good, we can have four dragons in here. Fantastic. All right, and if we upgrade it, we could have six dragons. So good to note. And thanks to all of you amazing people who have been sending me gemstones. Thank you all so much much. I have plenty of crystals in order to use for that upgrade in the future. Uh, also, we have Dun dun dun! We've expanded! We have expanded this area and we are going to try to clear out a whole bunch of the rocks and things that are over here. But holy cow, is it expensive! A hundred thousand coins to get rid of those rocks and grass. And there was like a, where is it? Where is it? There was like a plant over here and I was like, oh, that'll be cheap. So I clicked on it to get rid of it. Was it this guy? It was this guy! This little dragon tail that I could pluck up with my pinky finger is almost 400,000 coins. I cannot believe believe that. Even this dra like this dragon, this tiger can't believe that. <sighs> But we are going to be finishing off our uh, water area at some point in the near future. But I do think it'd be really fun to be able to move our glacier dragons at least up into their spot. And it, I realized we're probably going to need to come up with really fun ways to sort of make each section look a little like divided. So maybe we'll put down some waterfalls and some big rocks and maybe some icy pieces in between the water area and the ice area. And then maybe over here we can have a, some sort of mountain range lead over to the air dragon's habitat and oh how cool would it be if we put down every stray spot on the ground around the air dragon's habitat with flowers so it looked like they were flying over a big field of flowers that would be so cool oh i would love doing that and i really think that we need to give our amazing raitai who is currently away gathering some things uh in the little gather event but i think that raitai who I kind of want to rename our, our cavern dragon who collects treasure and secrets for us. I think he deserves to have some more treasure. I, I, I don't know. I, I really love this butterfly pavilion, but I don't know what to do with it. And I kind of just want to turn this into a treasure area now. So we'll think about that in the future. But speaking of in the future, let's gather up the money from the twins. We are going to be trying to expand to this area so that we can start moving the earth and the fire habitats over to the other side of the river and have even more room to roam for my wonderful jungle dragons, which I do have quite the bias towards and hope to have all of the enchanted variants of in the future as well. But um, it's going to be a lot of money because I think this is, what does this expansion cost again? 15 million coins? 15 million coins that cost that is gonna take me so long to get and we also need to upgrade the bank before we can even hold that much so our very first money goal is to upgrade the bank to with five million we need five million smackaroos to upgrade this extremely expensive bank which is just that's just hilarious and ridiculous and I kind of feel like I kind of feel like actually I've been thinking about redoing the bank and zoo crafting, speaking of some of my favorite series. And this is a really cute bank. I kind of want to redo the bank so it looks like this bank. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Huh. So keep an eye out for that in our upcoming zoo crafting episodes. I might talk about that because this is so cute. Uh, so we'll probably be working on that too. And one day I would love to make a huge zen garden. I think having a big giant zen garden would be really fun. So we'll probably work on that too. There's still a ton to do and we haven't even gotten the gather goop that we need in order to uh, make that bring them back potion, which is one of the things I've been trying to like work on is gathering all of the rare ingredients that we need so we can come over. And how fun would it be to pick 
five dragons with the bring them back boost and then one is just chosen at random you guys know how much i love random dragons or like well random dragons and random anything i'm a little bit addicted to using my random generators to say the least i mean how many episodes of things with randomness just went out recently like a ton so i'm trying to get the ingredient for this but you can't actually get it just by spending gemstones. You have to get it from the market. And like from the airship market. And that's kind of a tough thing to do because today I sent out Raitai to gather fairy dew. He, as our cavern dragon, is the only one able to gather fairy dew. But we have three dragon orders to fill that I can't fill because these dragons are not up to that level just yet. So that's kind of a humbling lesson in my efforts to get the bring them back potion is that I have to stop ignoring the airships and I have to start focusing on actually leveling up many of our dragons so that they are strong enough to go off on the airship and do whatever secret missions it is that dragons do out there in the world. So, hmm. Definitely gonna have to be thinking about that. All right, but we'll come back to that, I think. Um, Cause even if I, I spent the gemstones to call Raitai back early with that fairy stuff, I don't think we'd be able to level up the dragons enough. Cause like the tusk dragon, for instance, is he's at level eight. He's literally too young to go. <laughs> and if I tried to send the shore dragon, he's three levels away, which needs a ton more food. And if I tried to send the paradise dragon, then he's one level away, so he's very close, but he's still not close enough. <laughs> so yeah, that, that won't work with only the little bit of food that we have. Oh well, but it's a good thing to try. So maybe we'll start leveling up some of the dragons they mention pretty soon. But for now, let's go ahead. I'm going to check in on these eggs. I knew I already had this egg. We're going to hang on, Elysium dragon. I'm coming for you. And I knew I already had this egg. And so here we are, the beautiful Elysium dragon, a little cloudy boy coming to join us in our world. <gasps> He's so cute. He is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love him. He is like a little golden sun. I'm gonna name him Solar. Oh my gosh, he's just, oh, look at that. Yes, and we have unlocked the rarity remedy for him, which is not, going to be there's no point in making it if it's not like currently active look how tiny he is oh my gosh all right come here solar all right so we're gonna change your name and i'm going to like kind of pronounce it a little differently like uh solar there we go instead of solar and there he is he's so small and he is indeed the elysium dragon with these beautiful golden wings his fluffy little tail all of his little cloudy looks i think he's perfect right next to the air dragon exhibit and let's see what his story is oh look at that he can collect things that have glacier fairy and air traits i wonder if uh he could actually help us with collecting oh maybe he can't help us with collecting just those are his traits if you climb up Mount Oli, past Competition's Ridge, and even higher to the clouds, you will find the peak Elysium. Uh, oh yeah, 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 and we talked about this. And so this dragon is really good spreading auras of calm, introspection, and remembered dreams, which sounds so cool. So let's go ahead and feed him up, and we'll get him up a few levels. Hi, little buddy. You're so cute. You need that food. There you go. Oh my gosh, he is really cute as a baby. This is ridiculously adorable. And look at, oh, he's got, he's got a little bit of magic going on there. Look at you jump. Oh my gosh, that was too cute. And he tripped over himself. Oh, I love him. I love it when they're babies. They're just so cute as babies. Oh my gosh, and he's got little wings. I am a sucker for everything with like feathers and wings. So I really like him. All right, let's go ahead and feed him. As adorable as you are, little one, I would love to see your, well, do I wanna keep him as my little fluffy baby? I kinda wanna keep him as my little fluffy baby right now, <laughs> to be completely honest. All right, we're gonna keep him as my little fluffy baby. 
<laughs> he actually kind of matches with Calcifer's uh, inner baby dragon size, the little frog dragon tadpole thing uh, down in there. And that means we'll save some of our hard earned, like our very hard earned actually, food to try raising up some of the other dragons that we are attempting to send off on these expeditions. So let's pop over to the tusk dragon because he is the youngest. Well, should I do tusk dragon? Hmm. Or should I do shore dragon? Hmm. Let's see how far, let's try paradise dragon because I do love the paradise dragon. How far are you? Oh my gosh. Paradise dragon. I think that just used up all of my food. Okay, so paradise dragon can now go on expeditions. Might as well fill it. I mean, it's not like, it's not like we're gonna lose out. And then what about the shore dragon? Can I, see, we won't be able, we can't, so close and yet so far. So close and yet so far. Ah! See what I mean? Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's no way we'll be able to get enough food to send them all out, but it is very rewarding to at least be able to send off one of my dragons. And we're so far away from this chest and it could have those rare potion ingredients. Oh, but we won't know. We won't know. So I'm going to start trying to plant things that will actually give us uh, a higher result when we are gathering up food. I'm normally like monitoring my dragons most of the day, which is why I usually put in things that are a little cheaper, but I need to get more food. I'm kind of tempted, kind of majorly tempted to uh, start putting down some of the big giant bean stalks, to be honest, but then we wouldn't be able to upgrade the bank and we still need a ton of money in order to clear away all these trees. How much to rush the money? Hmm. For 21, we could have 1 million coins and upgrade the bank. Hmm. 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 I don't know. I mean, that would give us a lot of food, technically, uh, using the bean stalks. Huh, because I'll show you guys really quick. We'll do one bean stalk so I can show you what the heck I'm talking about. If you rush a bean stalk, we have bean stalks down here, right over here. They are a million. I forgot they were that expensive. Holy cow. They're a million to put down. They're done in 12 minutes and they give you 66,000 food, which unfortunately, I mean, that's kind of a lot, but ugh, okay, we're going to do just one. Just one we're going to place down so that we can see, maybe we can feed the ones that we need to send out today, but I doubt it. Uh, all right, and we're going to collect up this egg from the Tumbleweed and Badlands Dragon. Oh, and it's a little Badlands egg. And that's because I am trying so hard to breed the various dragons. Uh, we'll rush this. We're trying so hard to breed the dragons for the Petroglyph egg, which is what I really want. And apparently a lot of you guys have had luck with the Polar and the Earth Dragon. So we have Brindala and, oh, wait. <gasps> oh my gosh, what's that? What is that? Is that the Petroglyph egg? Everyone out of my way, bring me my notes. Where is my Dragonarium? Where is my Dragonarium? Let me see. Let me see, what does it look like? No. What? What am I looking at? What is that then? We have a mystery egg. We have a mystery egg for next time. Brindala, uh, pol uh, like polar dragon who needs a cooler name than that. Uh, I need your guys' name suggestions again. I, I forgot to write down the name suggestions before. So if you guys have name suggestions for the various types of dragons, please let me know because I need some good ones. Uh, all right. I don't know what kind of egg this is. It's not the one I was hoping for, but it's definitely something interesting. We have an enchanted something something that's going to be hatching uh, pretty soon too. And let's go ahead and try breeding. Let's just have our tumbleweed and enchanted badlands try again, because who knows what they might turn out. And let's do a little bit of rushing. We're gonna rush this egg to hatch. It is an enchanted egg of... Oh, I already have an enchanted Aurora Borealis, don't I? I think I already have an enchanted Aurora Borealis, don't I? Um, maybe, maybe, I know I have one Aurora Borealis, but do I have an enchanted Aurora Borealis? 
Yep, I already have an enchanted Aurora Borealis. Minerva, well that's a little awkward. I guess this is like the, the most that we've ever had, but we're gonna save the egg then and have our very first maybe enchanted ever egg and I'll put it down in our treasure section. So there we, there we go. The efforts that we tried uh, were not, they were kind of in vain, but at least we have an enchanted egg. Oh gosh, and I have a whole bunch of things to gather. And somewhere in here is actually something to celebrate. Thea the dragon's hatch master. We've hatched 157 dragons. Um, let's see, brew booster, and we should have something somewhere around here for collecting the enchanted egg. So we'll look at those like achievements again later. But now I now I, I have a uh, enchanted Borealis egg pedestal, which I mean, you know, I'm glad that I know it's there now. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we are going to rush this as well, just really quickly. I know that was kind of silly to spend that much uh, in all of our things, but let's see if we can make this happen. I don't think so. Like, look, that really wasn't that much food altogether. If you think about it costs like a million to get that much. And this guy, hi buddy. Gosh, you're very interesting looking. See, and this guy still isn't even gonna get up to level 16. Oh wait, he did, he just made it to level 16. Huzzah, we can at least send him out. There we go, we now have two dragons out, but we're going to fall short on the tusk dragon because there's no way. There you go, little guy. There, there's no way. I, I can't even feed him anymore and he needs to be level 16. Not happening, but we did our best. So that makes me pretty happy. Uh, and I think we have a bit of icy soil. So I'll go ahead and fill those because why not? All right, so there we go, guys. We are still working on trying to get enough money. Maybe if I come over and sell some of our excess stuff at the trading post, we can make that happen. We have a new mystery egg to hatch, and for now, I'm gonna keep my little cloudy boy, just the little baby, so that I can play with him for a bit, and we can try very hard to gather enough food to hopefully be able to raise a ton of our dragons up in level, so that that way, they can go out and they can help us collect the rare ingredients so that we can start mixing up those magical potions. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.